Several years ago, sales tax surpassed property tax as the number one revenue generator for the city of Waxahachie. It didn't happen until after the courthouse restoration program until, and until all of our other heritage programs were put into place. So I think that's directly related. Everyone takes pride in this courthouse and there's been an awful lot of effort put in, not just with county officials and uh, the commissioner's court, but, but everyone. We've seen in the last few years numerous buildings around town that are being renovated and I think a lot of people compare that to the idea that look what they did at the courthouse. Actually the city of Waxahachie has been very uh, fortunate to participate in a number of the THC programs. Collectively they've laid out for us a good blueprint for the community as to how to best preserve our heritage and some of the great assets that we have in our community. What we have here is a wonderful puzzle and if we keep losing pieces our puzzle won't look so good. I think people really understand that it's worth working for. So we formed, and there were about six of us who formed Historic Waxahachie. Our goal is to preserve and educate the community about the architectural heritage that is so unique and wonderful and still here. Tisha's grandmother belonged to the DAR and your mother? Yes. Uh, Sharon, has her lineage almost worked out? And we're getting there with her. Ellen is finished with hers. We really feel fortunate that we have so many groups here in Waxahachie that do care about the history and preserving the history, uh, not just the buildings, but the lore and uh, some of the things that may be true and may not be true, but they make good stories. And I just think we're fortunate that we all work together. Cooperation and partnerships. And I th I, actually, I think that is one of the things that has also made us such a strong community in the way of preservation is, is our partnerships. We're able to bridge gaps and bridge uh, relationships uh, with a number of different organizations to succeed in some of these preservation efforts. Everybody is willing to pull in and do whatever they can to achieve the goals that we've set, which are preservation, heritage tourism, and making the quality of life in Waxahachie better for everyone.